If you've ever wanted to come to a museum, sit and stay, the Museum of the Dog, set to open in New York on February 8th, is for you. The museum shows dog paintings, dog sculptures, dog books, even a dog skeleton. This is Belgrave Joe, or what remains of him. Um, this is a skeleton that was uh, of a very famous smooth fox terrier. Um, he was so famous, he was really sort of the father of the breed. Belgrave Joe was so famous, his 25th generation descendant is also immortalized at the museum, one of the more than 250 items on display. The American Kennel Club, who operates the museum, hopes the interactive exhibits, like the Meet the Breeds table, will keep visitors coming back for more. Well, the Meet the Breeds table has a tremendous amount of content that we've acquired over the years with the AKC. It's been helped out by our AKC staff by putting in things about the dog's origins, their appearance, their temperament, their history. Stay. Visitors can also virtually brush up on their dog training skills or find their canine doppelganger. You know, what's interesting is that sometimes it, it, it does come up the same. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not just random like that, but it does depend on your expression. Presidential pups are also immortalized, including George W. Bush's dogs Barney and Miss Beasley, as well as Barbara Bush's dog Millie. And if you're looking for real dogs, well, you're barking up the wrong tree. Live dogs will only be on site for special events. David Martin, the Associated Press, New York.